Ariser followed up the Solo and Air 2 with a pocketable version of their tech, the Ariser Go, or Argo for short. It has the same upgraded features along with the signature glass stem system, scaled down to make on-the-go use easier. The Argo also features a convertible top that pops up with the push of a button to keep the stem safe while in transit. The device has heft, though the attractive black finish will make you hesitant to do a drop test. The Argo is a worthy addition to the Ariser tribe. Make sure you check out the description for the best place to buy and make sure you subscribe. The box is high class and has all the markings and indicators for a device that is going to be difficult to clone. The Go is encased in a thin plastic wrap. The upper tray also has two glass stems and a stir tool, all in plastic tubes. Lifting up the velvety filling tray, you have a full-size sticker and a user manual. In the first box underneath, you get a sexy hip pouch that's sure to go unnoticed. There's also a USB charger, and in the smaller box, you get stem caps and screens. And on the other side, the box contains a wall adapter. Make sure you charge your batteries fully before first use. The Argo, like the other Ariser portables, utilizes a hybrid heating system that depends on packing variables. Instead of the traditional Ariser preset temps, you get single digit temp control up to 428 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat up time is about a minute. Turn on the vape by pressing the menu button and the plus button for the default of six seconds. Then press either the plus or minus button to activate the heater. In the settings, you can control the sound on power up, the sound on temp reach, the session duration, Fahrenheit and Celsius, screen brightness, and the press duration to activate the device. Cleaning the Argo is simple. The stems are the area of buildup and they can be ISO soaked or dropped into a cup of coffee or hot chocolate to clean. The chamber can be brushed when cool or you can blow out crumbs when warm. You can also use the included pick to dislodge any debris. The stems don't require cleaning too often. I purposely have not cleaned mine since I got it and haven't noticed any degradation in performance. I haven't had to use ISO to clean the device at all and would keep it away from the finish. The Argo is a great little session vape that is sure to exploit the goodness of your plant. The glass stem system also keeps your device tidy and ensures that if you do have to make a sacrifice so your Argo doesn't fall into the wrong hands, you can just ditch the stem. The single digit temp control is also an added bonus and the size make it friendly with most pockets. The stem caps are useful for keeping extra loads packed and ready to go. The swappable 18650s give you the option for lots of battery life. The taste is great and I also like that the menu is highly customizable. There isn't much about the Argo that I would change. That being said, I'm not really feeling the push top. I keep it depressed. The lip of the stem doesn't seem to stick up too much to bother me or seem to put the stems in danger. It would also be nice to see a longer stem for sharing. The replacement batteries are a bit on the pricey side and the learning curve is a bit different from other session vapes. Grind consistency and dryness of material will play the biggest role. And when you use it with water, it doesn't milk up as much as I've seen the Solo or even the Air 2 do. If you love Ariser Tech vaporizers and wish they were more portable, then the Argo is definitely for you. It's the vape that can go anywhere you do, and with a few spare batteries, you can keep yourself active for days. If you vape at home mostly, check out the Solo Tool and the Air Tool. Also, subscribe now, turn on notifications, and drop a comment and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.